Hello guys, my name is Bendy Jensen and this is going to be a new tutorial about UV mapping. And uh, <laughs> UV mapping is awesome. It's the most awesome thing in the whole world and I know you feel very lucky now because you're going to learn how to fucking UV map. Or maybe you already know how to UV map and you will know how to do it in a new way, in a different way. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not the most awesome thing, but it's necessary at least. Uh, as you see, I uh, I lit some candles, and uh, it's basically because I was trying to uh, light up the room, but the video is still lagging, and it's not something with your computer. It's my webcam that is a bad webcam or something. It only works when there's a lot of light. Uh, I haven't been making tutorials for almost two weeks I think because my wrist was hurting but I got this awesome thing now so I can work all the time <laughs> and uh, well it's kind of a funny story because I was really paranoid about my wrist starting it felt like it was pulling inside of my hand it felt very uncomfortable and I couldn't stop thinking about it when I was uh, going to bed and stuff it was all dark and I was oh my god it's pulling in my hand and stuff like that so I uh, got a doctor's appointment, and uh, I have a friend as well, he uh, he has some wrist problems where he can't work, he didn't work for half a year or something like that, because it was too much pain. So <laughs> I basically went to the doctor, and I told him that it was kind of feeling like pulling inside of my hand, and my doctor, he's very friendly, but he's also uh, a bit like an old, old guy, he talks old language. So <laughs> he uh, he grabbed my hand and then he tried to uh, kind of squeeze it in all kind of different ways and it was very weird but he was trying to uh, make it hurt basically and I said he he kept saying does this hurt does this hurt and I said no nah, not really and he just kept trying and then in the end he said like nothing's wrong with you and I was like uh, okay but it pulls in my, in my hand but nothing's wrong with you so <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing but apparently it has to hurt really bad in your hand before something is wrong and maybe it was just a little injury and stuff like that uh, so he couldn't do anything for me and he uh, tried to find some exercises I could do on a paper but he couldn't find it anyway so I basically had to go away there empty handed so I went to downtown and bought this so now I feel good again, now I don't have to be paranoid. <laughs> okay, but enough about that. Sorry that took a little while, but this tutorial is going to be about UV mapping. So, um, I'm going to divide it in parts, as I always do, and uh, the first part is this quick introduction. The next part, I'm going to show you how to actually UV map. I'm going to show it in Maya, how you can unfold the things and what you should think about. If you don't know what... Uh, sorry. I'm going to show it in Maya and then afterwards I'm going to show it in an awesome free program that does a lot of the stuff that Maya sucks at. So that's basically it. If you don't know what UV mapping is, I can quickly show you. So imagine that this is a cylinder in 3D and you want to put texture on it. Well, 3D in 3D, uh, when you have textures, they are often flat, like another paper. It's 2D. It has two dimensions compared to three dimensions. So this is the texture. It's very flat. Maybe I should choose a uh, smaller paper. But anyways, this is the texture, and this is your cylinder. So in order to fit something that is really flat, and 2D, you have to make a UV coordinate or layout for your 3D object. Meaning that you have to plan all the faces in a UV space. So basically, I'm going to show you how to unfold the paper. Oh, and now it doesn't act. Okay, amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to unfold the paper so you have it in a UV space. A flat, basically you're making your 3D objects flat. It's 
really weird that it lags sometimes. Okay. I'm really tired, so sorry about me not being so focused. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you Maya, and I'm gonna show you a book called World Kill in the next tutorial. So uh, don't go anywhere, I will see you in a moment with the new stuff. <laughs>